something wicked this way comes. Cue the intro. Hi, I'm Gabby and welcome back to another edition of the Fragrantition. If you like my content and you like my feed, then please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe down below. Hit that notification bell and then you'll receive notifications of my news feed. So today I have something a little bit special for Halloween. All those Montel lovers, this little baby here, this is old purple by the house right. of Montel. This is a heavy hitter. This is what I would recommend as a gothic, dark, really vampy fragrance. Boy, does this perform. This bottle, I have to say, is not the most best of bottles, but it's what's inside that matters. So I am going to take the stopper off. Let's spray this. Wow. This is a fragrance not for the faint hearted. Oh, it is absolutely stunning. This fragrance. It starts off with that saffron and it's got a punch to it. Once that dies down, you get the rose, you get the patchouli, my favourite notes, and you get the oud, which is the agar wood. The players in this are the rose, the saffron and the oud. It is strong. It is a beast. As Cassandra would say, it is epic. Absolutely epic. If you don't know who Cassandra Jones is, I'll put her link below. Please follow her. Her reviews on makeup, skincare, fragrances is absolutely great. Actually, it's her and another um, YouTube reviewer, uh, Bougie Fragrance. These two that I that really got me into starting my YouTube channel, which um, I absolutely love doing. Wow, this is. This is a fragrance for a vampire. If you want to feel like a vampire, this, this is, is in. This is beast mode. People can smell you even with a mask on. Um, I was wearing this one day and I had a, a Perspex screen in front of me. I had my mask on. There was a lady behind um, with her mask on and she could smell this on me. And I got a compliment from it. She complimented me on it. Actually, I had two compliments from um, people on that day when I was wearing this fragrance. This fragrance you will wear in the morning. And this is one of the only fragrances that lasts on my skin till the next day. 12 hours plus until you shower it off. I do have another Montel fragrance, Intense Cafe. That is another heavy hitter. But boy, even this beats Intense Cafe. Sorry, my, my voice was just, I am so... This fragrance, where has this been all my life? I was going to get, and actually I did get another fragrance by Montel, which was um, Dark Purple Rose. That was from AI the Great. She's another fantastic YouTuber. I'll put her link down below. She is so great. She reviewed Dark Purple Rose. I did get a little small sample of it. I really did like it, but I had a little small sample of this. And as soon as I smelt this, this was Gabby in a bottle. It is deep, it is dark, it's sensual, it's sexual, it's vampy, it's... Oh, it is gorgeous. The oud in this is amazing. The roses is, the rose in this is stunning. The saffron in this is just pungent and strong. And it's, it's gothic. It's, yeah, love it. Matches these nails as well. 
vampiric nails. I can imagine Alvira, if ever you know, remember Alvira, she would be wearing this. She would be that woman wearing this. Yeah, Montel, it's come through. So if you want a fragrance that projects, has beast sillage, has performance, has longevity, um, is gothic, is dark, it's, you know, it's sexual, it's sex in a bottle. Also, this, this, this fragrance, I could imagine, do you remember that film, Death Becomes Her, with Goldie Horn and Meryl Streep? This is what they would be wearing. Oh, yes. Bruce Willis, his hands would be all over their bodies wearing this, let me tell you. Death Becomes Her. God, it would be more than anyway, that. Anyway, I digress. So, the only thing I don't like is this little stopper you have to put on. But for practicalities, it's good. And also it's aluminium, which is good as well. Um, so the sunlight can't reflect through into it. So I can see where it's coming from. Feels very light, but that's the aluminium. So this is the 100 ml. And I actually got this from a website here in the UK, notino.co.uk. Um which was reasonably priced, less than £60 for this 100ml bottle. So for a niche brand, yeah, love it. I'm going to be rocking this. Oh, yeah, epic, absolutely epic. So tell me, what are your thoughts on this fragrance? Please like, comment, subscribe down below, hit that notification bell. Will you like this fragrance? Won't you like this fragrance? I certainly do. So... From the fragrantition, remember, don't just dab it on, slap it on. Ciao for now.